So if you want to know how to use the faithful texture pack with the fresh animations texture pack, well today I'm going to show you how I can do exactly that. So the first thing we need to do is to download Optifine, and Optifine is going to allow us to use the modded animations within the fresh animations resource pack. Now you can do this with fabric and sodium, but the process is a little bit more complicated, and if you are interested in doing that, I will leave a video link in the description. So to download Optifine, the first thing we need to do is to go to our web browser, and you want to go to optifine.net, and I'll leave a link in the description. Once you're here, you want to click on the downloads tab, just at the very top, and then you want to find the Minecraft version you want, in this case it's 119.4. If you can't find it, you want to select show all versions and see your list of versions here. So you want to go ahead and click on the download button and then you may or may not get an advert which you can just press the skip button in the top right hand corner. Once you've done this, you'll be taken to the download page so you just need to select the download button once again. We just want to go ahead and save this mod on our computer for now. In this case, I'm going to use my desktop. So to install Optifine, we just need to go ahead and open it up and it will look something like this. It's quite simple, all we need to do is click on the install button and within a few seconds Optifine will install to Minecraft. Once you're ready you can exit out of this and we just need to go ahead and move on to the next step. So what we need to do now is to download the resource packs to make all of this work. The first one is going to be the faithful resource pack and to do this you want to go to your web browser and you want to go to faithfulpack.net and I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you've done this, you want to click on see latest versions under the 32 resolution version as a 64 bit resolution doesn't work as of yet. You then want to scroll down to where the Minecraft versions are and I recommend just downloading the latest version as you get all of the up-to-date textures anyway. So you want to click on that, then you want to go ahead and save the resource pack to your computer and in this case I'm going to save on my desktop for the time being. So the next resource pack we need to download is Fresh Animations. To do this you want to go to your web browser and then you want to go to the CurseForge page which again I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you're here you want to click on the Files tab just at the very top then you want to select the latest version of Fresh Animations, and in this case it's 1.8.1. .1. Once you've done this, you want to click on the drop down menu next to the install button, and then you want to click on download file. After about 5 seconds, the download should automatically start, and again, we're just going to save the resource pack onto our desktop, and we're going to install them later on. So last but not least, we just need to download the resource pack that's going to make Fresh Animations compatible with Faithful. So to do this, we need to go to our web browser again, and then you want to go to the CurseForge webpage, and again, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now you want to make sure this one's by Woofer Scoots, otherwise it may not work and it may not be the correct version. So once you're on this page, you just want to click on the Files tab at the very top, and again, you just want to select the latest version, and as you can see, this one's compatible with 1.8.1. .1. Once you're ready, you want to click on it, and again, select the drop down menu and select Download File. Then again, wait about 5 seconds, the download should automatically start, and I'm going to save this on my desktop, and now I'm going to show you how to install these resource packs. So to install these resource packs, it's very simple. All we need to do is right click on our Windows icon at the bottom, and then you want to select the Run option, and then you want to type in percent app data percent and click on OK. Your file explorer should open up, and you should see the .minecraft folder at the top. You just want to go into that, and then you want to find the resource pack folder and open that. From here, we just need to drag and drop the three resource packs we've downloaded into the resource packs folder. Once you've done this, you can exit out of your file explorer and move on to the next step. So now I'm going to show you how to get these resource packs working. And to do this, we need to open our Minecraft launcher. And then in the version drop down menu, you want to select that. And then you want to select the Optifine we installed earlier. Once you're ready, you want to click on play. So as you can see, we are in our Minecraft world and everything is on the default settings. So to get fresh animations and faithful to work, we need to go to our options menu and then you want to select resource packs. From here you just want to drag and drop the resource packs into the selected folder. Now it's very important that we order these correctly otherwise it won't work. So we need our default resource pack at the bottom, then we need our fresh animations resource pack above that, and then above that we need the faithful resource pack and then the compatibility resource pack so it should look something like this. So once you've done that, you want to click on done. And as you can see, that I've got the faithful pack working, but more importantly, I've also got the fresh animations working with the faithful resource pack. So if I go over to this iron golem and punch it, you notice it's gonna get really mad at me, but more importantly, the animations are completely working. Now it's important to bear in mind that the faithful resource pack is not 100% complete, so not all mobs will work, but it is still currently in development and that will change in the future. And that's it, so if you have any questions or comments leave them below and you can join the discord channel if you need any more help.